Howdy folks and welcome back to Ugly Dog Lures. Tonight we're going to do something a little bit different. Crazy and off the wall. We're going to paint a bait using five different types of paint. We got Createx Detail Sepia. It's a wicked. We got a transparent from Createx. We got a homemade one called Shifty Peach. We have an FX paint and then we have a folk art paint. So we're going to start this bait with our transparent yellow and we're going to paint this whole bait yellow. So uh, let's just jump right on in here and get after it. Get my air pressure where I want it and we're going to see if this will actually run through my brush today. I've actually got it thinned down a little bit in the bottle. But I got the bottle down away, so I went ahead and thinned the whole bottle. Okay, let's heat set that right quick. So there's our first color on that bait. Now let's just clean our brush and we'll move on to our next color, which is going to be our detail sepia and it's already thin too so we don't have to thin it so I just wanted to paint a bait with five different paints to show you what we come up with on the end so on this one we're gonna even swap brushes And I'm going to go to the detail brush. It's not hurting that to sit there and dry a minute anyway. So. so now we're going to keep on with our detail sepia. And I'm just going to paint some in here in the side. Now I have a reason for what I'm doing and y'all figure it out here in a minute. I'm gonna get that eye painted on this other side, around that eye. about got what we're wanting here folks down that base and we'll clean our brush and our next color that we're gonna be using is gonna be our uh, FX 
and it's a kind of neon green. If I can get it open. We'll thin it out and get it ready to go. Well, this is our FX paint. Remember, folks, this is five different kinds of paint on this bait. That's a running pretty fast there. That's a Thicken it up just a hair. So the only thing I don't like about the FX paints is it don't come in these little bottles. I like the colors of them just fine. Okay, we're nice and green there. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to use our hoop and we're going to scale over the sepia, the detail sepia. So let's just kind of get everything out here and we'll paint right down the back green. Let's see how it's spray in there. Just about right, right there. Oops, I've got to reset this thing. Trying to pull out there, Melissa, it's all your fault. I didn't put it in there, did I? No. You did not. That thing will stay there. Got a scale pattern on there. So now we'll heat set that here in a minute, and I'm going to paint this back of this bait green, the green. Kind of let it fade just a hair down into the scale on both sides. Okay, let's throw a heat set on that. Now, I'm going to paint the nose green. Very nice. Now, that's a good looking little bait, Melissa. That's yes, right. I got several more steps that I want to do on that, so. Stands are getting worn out, honey. And I got all new ones. I don't know why I ain't over there using one of them. I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to tighten that screw up right there. There we go. See, I've got another color that I'm going to run over the back, over that green, and change all that up. I think I'm going to put a uh, purple over that back then I'm going to put a shad dot on him but right now we're going to move off to the shifty peach the homemade color and it was sent to me by New Hope Custom Fishing Lures or New Hope Lures you can find him on Facebook he'll have a uh, YouTube channel up here shortly I hope shifty peach So we're going to apply several different techniques to this bait. Why not? We're here, we might as well do it, right? Right. So, we're just kind of letting this bait dry. 
up real good before we start laying in the next color. On him, so why not? I'll tell you what, folks, I've sure been enjoying painting with you, and if you're new to the channel, we want to welcome you. I'm Charlie, and that's Melissa. She's the boss. So, uh, well, yeah, that's, that's going to look very nice when it's all through. So, uh, I just want some different techniques into this, and uh, right now I need to cut some. Some fabric. So what I'm going to do now, folks, is uh, like I said, I'm doing three different techniques with the wraps, the scales. Then I'll do another one up the top, and uh, I'm going to do a technique for the bottom, for the belly of this fish, which is going to be orange, and we're going to do a uh, wrap technique on it. And just on that, so uh, we might as well just get in here and bust her out right quick. And you'll have a very unique bait when we're all finished. Very cool bait. Okay. So this technique is a wrap and it's a spider wet web lace wrap and it's for a wedding dress so let's get our shifty peach mixed up and we're going to put it down here on the belly that'll be kind of cool Very nice, very nice. Sometimes folks, a man just don't have enough hands. So I've got that pulled nice and tight. There. I'm just gonna blow that on orange. Then I'll heat set it. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, pull our wrap off. And you see the what it gives it. it let's that yellow shine through. Cool. Okay. We're about to get to the epoxy time on this bait here in just a few minutes. So uh, let's uh, get us some more and we'll do our back. Now I'm going to let my beautiful wife pick a purple. It don't matter what it is, color, so I don't care, whatever. It's just a cool bait to do. So I think she picked plum purple. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut a piece of this. Okay, folks, we got our wrap on, and this wrap is from the uh, Robert Stanley collection. It's in the floral section. You can buy it. It's not very expensive. $6 for that 50-foot roll. So uh, now we're going to use our color shift, and she chose a uh, plum flash. We're going to paint over the back with the plum flash. We don't need a whole lot of that either. That's going to be prettier than an abandoned beer truck, I tell you. Be a very unique bait. Five different colored types of paint on it. And uh, it's got three different types of uh, stencils on it. So uh, let's make our check here. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Yeah, 
Well, let's get her captured up here. And we'll throw a, another coat on it. Heats at it. And we'll pull the clips off. Fill it back. So there goes our top. So now the next one. We're going to do one more step and then we're done. And uh, put a shad dot on them or you can use a Q tip. Everybody has their own way to do that. So I'm going to clean this brush out while that's drying a little bit there. And we'll put him a shad dot. And I'm going to use a neon glitter into this bait. Because I just think it feels more at home there. So. so life is good, folks. Figure out where I want to dot him at here. He's about right there. Just a inkling of a shad dot there. And right there. Yep, there's our shad dot on him. Don't particularly know that he needed that, but I put it on there anyway. Okay. That's a heat set those dots. Then we'll move on to our next step, which is going to be taking the tape off the bill, eyes, and we about got this one in the bag, folks. Howdy, folks, and welcome back. Well, this is my five and four lure, what I call a five and four. It's got five colors and four different pattern techniques on it. So this is what it is right here. Very fun paint to do. I enjoyed it a lot. So, uh, sorry we ain't got that view up there tonight, but we just don't, so uh, you'll get close-up pictures of it. Very fun bait to paint. Enjoyed it a lot, so you all have a very blessed evening, and I'll catch you later.